Is it the right time to buy or sell Redhill Biopharma Limited stock? Today, we're going to dive deep into Redhill Biopharma Limited, providing you with a more detailed analysis based on our initial report published on our website on Thursday, November 30, 2023. To stay updated on our latest analysis, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. You wouldn't want to miss any crucial updates that could potentially impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Lastly, please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 30, 2023, our system has identified Redhill Biopharma Limited as a buy candidate with a score of 1.77. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. We will closely monitor this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the days ahead. The stock is currently moving within a wide and horizontal trend, indicating that further movements within this trend can be expected. Based on the past three months, there is a potential minus 0.0946% change in the stock's value over the next three months. This means there is a possible return between minus 84.72% and 43.86%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a forecasted 2.37% change in the stock's value over the next 12 months. This suggests a potential return between minus 88.84% and 153.35%. In terms of price, this would translate to a range of $0.223 to $5.07 after a year. Our latest update on Redhill Biopharma Limited brings you the headline, Big Movements in Redhill Biopharma Limited Stock Price on Thursday, with a 25.86% fluctuation between the high and low points. On Thursday, the 30th of November 2023, the stock price of Redhill Biopharma Limited experienced a decrease of 30.56%, dropping from $2.88 to $2. Throughout the course of the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 25.86%, reaching a low of $1.74 and a high of $2.19. In the past 10 days, the price has increased in six instances, resulting in a rise of 497.01% over the last two weeks. The decrease in trading volume aligning with the stock decline is actually a positive sign, as volume typically follows the stock. On the last day, the trading volume decreased by 75 million shares, with a total of 19 million shares bought and sold, equivalent to approximately $38.86 million. Over the course of the past 52 weeks, the stock price reached a high of $5.70 and a low of $0.126. Currently, the price is 64.91%, equivalent to $3.70, below the highest point in the past 52 weeks, and 87.91%, equivalent to $14.54, below the all-time high on August 4, 2016, when the price reached $16.54. According to analysts, Redhill Biopharma Limited stock has received a general rating of neutral. The P.E. ratio and price to book have been rated as neutral. However, the stock has been given a sell rating for return on investment. Let's take a look at the signals for Redhill Biopharma Limited. The Redhill Biopharma Limited stock has received by signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal from the relationship between these two signals, with the short-term average above the long-term average. In case of downward corrections, there is support at $1.30 and $0.587. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals may be issued. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. It's important to note that there have been some negative signals as well, which could impact the stock's short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, November 29, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 30.56% so far. It is expected that the stock will continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Finally, it's worth mentioning that the volume of trading has decreased along with the price during the last trading day. 
This reduction in volume reduces the overall risk, as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator shows a buy signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger band suggest a buy signal 121 days ago. The short term moving average indicates a buy signal 5 days ago. The long term moving average also suggests a buy signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we can see the short moving average shows a buy signal 5 days ago. The long term moving average also indicates a buy signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 108 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about the support, risk, and stop loss for Red Hill Biopharma Limited. Currently, there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that if the right conditions arise, the stock may perform poorly in the next couple of days. It's important to be cautious. This stock can be quite volatile, meaning it has the potential to experience significant price movements throughout the day. Additionally, the Bollinger Band indicates a large prediction interval, classifying this stock as very high risk. Looking at the recent data, we can see that the stock had a price difference of $0.450 between its highest and lowest points in the last day, which is equivalent to a 25.86% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 54.83%. Before we explore the potential trading levels for Red Hill Biopharma Limited, let's begin by understanding some essential fundamental data. Firstly, let's talk about the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This ratio is a critical measure of a company's current share price in relation to its per share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. It's common for established companies to face downturns, often due to external factors. However, if a company consistently maintains negative P-E ratios, it could indicate insufficient profits and potential risks of bankruptcy. Today, we'll be discussing some important day trading levels for Red Hill Biopharma Limited. If the stock shows an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $2.28. If you're not already invested, it might be prudent to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could be a potential level for swing trading. It's important to note that there isn't significant support from accumulated volume below, which implies that the stock could potentially experience sharp drops under certain circumstances. Exercise caution and consider making trades only if you have experience in navigating such situations. Our recommended stop loss is set at $1.89, which reflects a decrease of 5.52%. This particular stock experiences significant daily movements, making it a high-risk investment. Additionally, a sell signal was detected from a pivot top just one day ago. Is Red Hill Biopharma Limited stock a good buy? We have analyzed several short-term signals and it appears that the current level may present a buying opportunity for Red Hill Biopharma Limited stock. There is a fair chance for the stock to perform well in the short-term period. In fact, we have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock from a hold slash accumulate to a buy candidate. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, December 1st, we anticipate Red Hill Biopharma Limited to open with a decrease of dash dollar 0.0233, starting at $1.98. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. As a responsible investor, it's always wise to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also curious about your target for the stock. 
Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Wishing you successful trading and a beautiful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.